Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. JoJo from Jers, Twitter Woo! rock star. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. I'm, Hi. My hair's are tingling on my arms. I'm ready. <laughs> we're, so, we're so excited. that I mean, we. I don't, Jack Smith looks like just went into the courthouse. Obviously, we are, you know, all the speculation is it'll be. And if there is a God, it will happen when JoJo from Jers is yes. here. Yes. <laughs> Yes, if the God is from Jersey, especially. <laughs> God clearly is from Jersey. Which, I mean, but everyone in New Jersey believes already. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Um, yeah, you tweeted, while I very much want Rudy Giuliani to get every ounce of what's coming to him, I also really, really, really hope he flips on Trump. I hope they all do. It'll make his demise all the sweet. Yeah, which he's, of course, walking back now and saying that he didn't actually admit it. There's all these caveats to his admitting that he lied, which is just more like really Russian nesting doll of lies. But <laughs> I, I don't see how any of them don't save themselves at the end of the day. Their two choices are save yourself or go down with the SS Trump. That's Those are yeah. their two choices. I saw the, When Mark Meadows was skedaddling into the <laughs> building yesterday, it just, uh, rec- even Chris Christie said... <laughs> What's a guy to me like that's cooperating with the DOJ? <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. but we'll fight. Yeah. We, you know, we're going to find out maybe soon, right? Maybe today, maybe within the hour. So we'll see, right? Yeah, I definitely think the Mark Meadows piece is interesting because he disappeared. It was like, yeah. where in the world is Mark Meadows? And you, when you go quiet like that for so long and you, you hold all that crucial evidence related to this particular yeah. set of indictments, I think we know. <laughs> well, what yeah, you tweeted today, two separate grand juries of everyday Americans have seen enough evidence to indict Donald Trump on 71 charges. The evidence includes witness testimony, audio and video recordings, phone logs, photos, Trump's own words and more. Republicans, witch hunt. But you were saying, <laughs> yeah. you know, you sort of got famous just because you are like a Jersey mom. Right. That I just, you know, you look at this world we wake up in in 2023 and must you must be just as sort of bewildered as we are every day that you have a president with provably the best record of any president in I, I don't know how long right this should not even be in a normal universe and you have a someone that was just called a rapist by a judge this week confirmed to be a rapist he is multiple criminally indicted the fact that we're even in this universe talking about that this could still be close is must be astounding to you it's mind blowing, and the thing—the thing that I want everybody to know, and hopefully they already know this—is that I'm not an expert on any of this shit. Stuff, oh, stuff, oh, sorry. stuff, stuff. Oh, yes, stuff. That's all right. Stuff. Okay. stuff, 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 stuff. I'm not an expert. On any you of know, I love a Jersey potty mouth girl. You know, I love it. <laughs> but we're all navigating this together, and I'm just giving my takes on the craziness because. And like you said, you wake up every morning. And even though we're not waking up every morning to angry tweets, I mean, the Republicans have certainly taken the ball and run with it in terms of the crazy. And but but also what you said is so important, because what's interesting about what Biden has accomplished, and I tweeted this a while back and it really triggered them, shocker, is that Biden has accomplished all the things that Trump promised them. Yeah. Yeah. Trump promised them he'd lower prescription drug costs. Biden did it. Trump promised them he would get Mexico to pay for the wall. He didn't. Biden got Mexico to give us mm-hmm. $1.5 billion for border security. All the things that Trump promised them, yeah. Biden delivered, and yet they don't believe any of them. Yeah. They just don't. Yeah. I mean, it's just the fact that we're really at a point where they're using, that was brilliant, the Marjorie Taylor Greene voiced Biden commercial. Where she's <laughs> always like, finishing with LBJ and FTR. Yeah. And he's like, thank you. Yes. I. Yeah. <laughs> And, like and actually doing stuff for the American people is a bad thing in their eyes. Yeah. And the fact that they're talking about impeaching Biden and we all have to go for what, which thing, what thing mm-hmm. are they like, what is even the, the grounds? I don't even. Yeah. It, it's, it's full on buffoonery, really, because their, their witness, one of their witnesses is a Chinese spy, it turns out. And I right. have to do the junior air quotes. I call him twitchy, but Chinese <laughs> witness. One of their witnesses won't even show up for their own hearings. Their evidence is Hunter Biden's laptop, which is just Hunter Biden's phone hacked on a laptop with no chain of custody. So yeah. it's been manhandled more than Madison Cawthorn at a Republican vote party. <laughs> like, that's their evidence. And what they're saying is so crazy gaslighting. They're accusing Joe Biden of doing what Donald Trump did with Ukraine. That's exactly what they're doing. And they're also, they're giving Donald Trump the investigation Zelensky almost did 
before Trump got caught extorting him. Yeah. That's what the Republicans I, The gaslighting is at 11. They've turned it yeah. up to 11 every single day. It's like he keeps yeah. screaming election interference, and you're like, right, that's what you're being charged for next mm-hmm. is interfering in the election. So it's just, I, I, we always call it the Pee Wee Herman strategy. It's always, I know you're right, but what am I? It's like, what? No, you... I, I think, and that's what I mean, like Giuliani just did. The whole world knows Biden is a criminal. It's like, what? I, yeah. I, yeah. And it's all by design, right? So it's all meant to keep us constantly having to juggle the crazy and respond to this, like, it's like an automatic tennis ball machine of c- crazy. Yeah. And the more they shoot at us and know that we're going to be distracted, deflecting these tennis yeah. balls, the more that they can accomplish dismantling this democracy. Yeah, that's what I always used to call it, the tennis ball machine of uh, bull every day or the fire hose, <laughs> yeah. fire hose of tennis Love balls. It. I can't remember. It's just, but it is, it's such a constant stream of whatever sound effect you have. Sure. <laughs> Let's go with fire hose. <laughs> okay, but um, yeah, I, I, and obviously it's dis- distract from what's probably going to happen today, the third indictment of this criminal ex-president. It, it, I, do you get concerned about just them saying, oh, well, you know, I think it was 70% of Republicans think, still think Trump's the strongest candidate. I, 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 we are just in the upside down, aren't we? Yeah, about one thousand percent the upside down, and I, I, as much as I try to make sense of it, I guess that the best indicator that I'm not crazy is that I can't make sense of it because it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Um, oh, here's a new character. Uh, Jill Biden's ex-husband <laughs> has come out to rail against the very dangerous Biden crime family from I. How many years ago is this from Jody? I from 19 aught something something yeah bill somebody former husband yeah first lady jill but that haven't they the biden's been married like 40 something yeah they've years. been married forever okay yeah. so i he railed against the biden crime family on oh newsmax okay of course and claimed trump was being targeted by biden the same way he was targeted by the bidens during his divorce 11 billion years ago mm-hmm. jojo okay so uh, he said frankie biden of the biden crime family comes up to me and goes give her the house so you're gonna have serious problems i looked at frankie and said are you threatening me needless to say about two months later my brother and i were indicted for a tax charge for eight thousand something no. i what? but any of these lunatics can get an audience on any of these right-wing outlets right uh, oh she, yeah and then and then what they say is, is just considered fact it's just true Right. He said, I can't let them do to President... Oh, hang on. Let me get the violin. I can't let them do what they did to me to President Trump. I just can't. I can't let them do this to a president I love and respect. I can't let them do this to our country. Okay. Really? I'm going to guess he got charged with a tax thing because he did something wrong with right. the tax with thing. Taxing. Something, I don't know, 50 years ago. Okay. Wow. They are... I mean... But Jill Biden is a smoke show, right? Like, did, I don't know if you saw the picture in this New York Post article. But yes. She was... Total smoke show. Yes. <laughs> yes. Extra points for the term smoke show. Yes, <laughs> love that. And you ought to know, Hotty Bumbleotti. <laughs> oh, God. What? Stop Stephanie. it. She Stephanie. knows she's hot. Okay. <laughs> Here's my point. Jeez. Stop flirting. She knows my girlfriend's from New Jersey. I have a girlfriend. I like Jersey <laughs> girls. I'm just saying. It's an homage. Oi, it's oi, an homage. Oi, oi. Okay. Um, but we were saying, once again, Joe, the, just the contrast in the parties, this, you know, really sad, terrifying moment with Mitch McConnell yesterday. Of course, Joe Biden already called him to see how he's doing. You know, it, of course, Donald Trump did no such thing. And we remember anytime Biden stumbles or what happened to Paul Pelosi, the ugliness on the right. I didn't see one Democrat say anything other than we wish Mitch McConnell well. Uh, you know, and don't. Yeah. I mean, it's the difference between the two parties, like you said. I, when Paul Pelosi got attacked, I was so, and then I got a death threat where I was told I was going to be Paul Pelosi next as a result of that attack. Wow. I was actually, yeah, that was fun. I was so outraged by their response, how cool they were and those conspiracy theories that they were trafficking about who was it that attacked him. And, and again, how they respond whenever Biden God forbid falls, which people do all the time. Mm-hmm. It's so cruel and heartless. And speaking of cruel and heartless, Mitch McConnell, that was horrible to watch yeah. yesterday. I mean, it was. If you're a human being with any yeah. capacity for compassion, that was hard to watch. Yeah. And I know we have our, I know he's done great damage to this democracy, and I have my issues with Mitch McConnell. But if you're a human being, you got to feel something when you watch another human being go through that. And yeah. I did. Yeah. I mean, I don't like him, but I felt something. I and- felt compassion. 
but also, Joe, I was saying you ha- you can't help but mention that he's one of the reasons that, you know, they would not allow Dianne Feinstein to step down so that someone else could, you know, in any kind of decent bipartisan world that they claim, you know, they're for, uh, you know, and they wouldn't make the comments about Joe Biden. Anytime he trips on a sandbag or something, yeah. you know, they're, they're ready to 25th Amendment. And we were saying in Kentucky, they made sure that the Democratic governor cannot appoint someone to Mitch McConnell's seat because all they care about is power. Yeah, it was one of his final acts of true evil was he made sure in the last couple of years, knowing he was not really going to be able to, there was a possibility he wasn't even going to make it past the midterms in terms of being able to serve. But so he made sure that that his governor couldn't appoint a replacement for him, which is really sad. Yeah. I mean, it's just not how democracy is supposed to work. Well, that's what I mean. Even when we win at the ballot box, yeah. Joe, they t- try to find ways to lessen, mm-hmm. the, you know, the Democratic governor in power's uh, ability to to uh, to serve. Right. Which is really just their efforts to stifle the will of the people, which, again, is what democracy is supposed to be. It's we the people. It's not we the Republican majority in the Kentucky legislature. Right. So when they do things like that, when they tell the governor who is duly elected by the citizens of that state that the power that the citizens granted him is not the power they want him to have so that they can stay in power. They're saying we don't want to fulfill the wishes of our constituency. Yep, absolutely.